one of the reasons why um, this challenge is also extreme for me is that um, I ski with this beautiful thing called the Philadelphia Collar. Um, I have a fused spine from childhood arthritis. And uh, when I was 13, my doctors told me that I would not uh, ski again for safety reasons, which is smart. Um, but I've been skiing since I was two years old and it's a big part of my life and my family's life. So um, the doctors made this collar for me, uh, which I have to wear when I ski for protection. And you can see it's, uh, it's, it's had a lot of wear. Um, and it feels, people ask me all the time what it feels like to wear this thing. It feels like someone is um, kind of strangling you. It gets uh, a little hot and on cold days it gets really cold because the wind goes through it. But um, if I don't wear it, I don't ski. And um, if you look behind me at the scenery, this is why I ski. And uh, it's so beautiful to be out here. And the freedom that comes with skiing is just something um, that I think all skiers just can attest to. Especially me, since my body doesn't always cooperate. And the other sports, CrossFit and uh, yoga, things that I like to do, I can feel sometimes that I have um, limitations and that my body gets in the way, but skiing is the one thing I do where I feel totally free. I don't feel like I have arthritis. This thing is a pain in the ass, but um, I gotta wear it, so it keeps me going. And the comments I get from this are unbelievable, such as yesterday. I was carrying it in my hand and someone said, you're well prepared, I hope you're not gonna need that today. Um, and I just let it go. But the stares and the comments, uh, it's certainly, uh, it's a talking point when I'm on the lift, but this is how it is.